Summer grilling, the first thing that comes to my mind is steak. And you've got lots of options out there, but today I wanna to show you something that's kind of unexpected. It's a really cool thing to have on the grill and that's short ribs. I've got a few steak options here that you might be more familiar with. A ribeye, which is always a nice cut for the grill, flank steak and filet mignon. Short ribs are something special though. They're more affordable than other cuts of steak and they're really fun for the grill and it's not something you see very often. So what you're normally gonna find at the butcher's counter are bone-in short ribs. You see the bone here and the meat is runs along top. This is called an English cut. Um, what we've done is actually ask the butchers to cut us boneless short rib steaks. They look exactly like you'd expect from a steak for the grill, but it's just a little something special that our butchers will do for you anytime. What you get here is a really beefy flavor. I've already got my grill going to medium heat. It should be just about ready. And then we're just gonna do salt and pepper. If you end up talking through this cut with your butcher, just make sure that you get the top little area of fat cut off. Trim it because that can cause flare ups. I'm just give these a little flip. I've got a nice coarse sea salt here, um, which just adds a little crunch when you grill it. I would also keep your pepper nice and coarse as well. So I think we're ready to go. Unlike other cuts of meat, we're not gonna worry too much about getting the perfect grill marks here because I'm gonna just turn them pretty consistently. You're sort of creating your own little manual spit roast. These short ribs can go with anything. I would, you know, think about putting some big slices of sweet onions on the grill and grilling alongside. I'd say a medium rare to medium is pretty much the best bet just to make sure that all the intermuscular fat gets melted and the, the outside gets sort of crispy and caramelized. So one thing I do just to remind myself of um, the donenesses is to use my hand. And when you put your first finger and thumb together and give your pad of your thumb a little poke, that's rare. Then your middle finger and thumb, medium rare and medium, and then when you use your tongs, you can give the steaks just a little bit, bit of a poke and a little squeeze to better gauge the temperature. All right, these guys are ready. You wanna just let them rest for about five minutes. Um, it's the rule with any steak, not just short ribs. Pretty much the hardest part about this recipe is uh, waiting the five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna slice this up. The steaks are really rich, so it's really nice actually to, to slice it a bit. And you can see it's got a nice sort of medium rare look. All right, this is ready to go. What I would do is just keep a couple whole in case you uh, have extras for tacos the next day. And then this one's sliced. They're just so easy and unexpected. I, I mean, I know you have a lot of steak choices out there, but this is one of my very favorites. Simple grilled beef short ribs. <laughs> 